What's good, y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome back to another reaction video. It's your boy Corey. Da -da 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 -da. Back for another reaction video for y'all today, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good today, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed my day, bro. Hope everybody enjoyed y'all day too, man. You dig it, it dig? It feel good and shit out that thing uh, outside yesterday. You let yeah, you, today early and all that, bro. I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? But we got Offset versus Lil Baby and QC. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I've been hearing this shit all up on the internet and all that, man. Well, some of it, I ain't been really, you know what I'm saying, tuning in. I've been just been goddamn focused on, you know what I'm saying, other shit. You know what I'm saying? You know how that be, though, man. You dig it, you dig. But, if you get right straight to it, though, man, you know what I'm saying? I want everybody the whole, whole time, man. You watch the whole video, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Get your popcorn ready. You know what I'm saying? Get your motherfucking goddamn talkies ready and everything, though, cut. You know what I'm saying? For the one time, man. You diggity dig, you know what I'm saying? Let go though, y'all. Offset is trying to hype up his new solo album, but now his issues with Lil Baby and QC been making headlines instead of the music. He filed a lawsuit against QC last week, and now it looks like the beef is really turning up. Here's what's going on. Last week, news broke that Offset was suing his label, Quality Control Records. According to the lawsuit, he paid him for the rights to his solo music, but QC is still trying to attach their name to his new project. Offset has a deal with Motown Records for his solo projects, but QC says that he still signed with them. A rep from the label told TMZ, not only are the accusations in this lawsuit false, they are totally detached from reality. Offset remains a part of QC. Back to business. QC and Amigos was involved in another lawsuit back in 2020. The Amigos sued their old lawyer, Damien Granderson, who also worked with QC. The suit said Granderson abused his position of trust as Migos' fiduciary from the moment he was retained as Migos' lawyer because he had a conflict of interest working with the same label they were signed to. Pierre P. Thomas and QC hopped on Instagram in response and said, It is unfortunate that the same people that we have worked hard for, provided opportunities for, and championed for are now alleging that we have participated in any kind of moral or unfair business practices. The Migos later dropped the lawsuit, but clearly things ain't been smooth behind the scenes. Ruby Rose, after the news broke about Ruby Rose in that train. Shout out to Ruby Rose though, man. But this shit messy, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you. This shit is really, really, really messy. With, uh, you know what I'm saying? What Offset going through right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at though, y'all. It's crazy, man. That's why if I become a rapper, bro, I ain't signing to nobody. I ain't, I'm not gonna sign to nobody, for real, bro. You diggity dig? Paid in any kind of moral or unfair business practices. The Migos later dropped a lawsuit, but clearly things ain't been smooth behind the scenes. After the news broke about Offset's new lawsuit, P called him out on Twitter and said, The last lawsuit was filed publicly and dismissed quietly. Let's see how this one go. Been too real for all this lame shit. Everyone knows the real problem. Offset shot back and said, Act like I'm the problem. I paid millions to get my rights back. You blackballed me. I ain't said shit one time, homie. I ain't spoke to you in two years. Now I drop and you want your name on my credit? Then Cardi jumped in and defended Offset and said, Offset bought himself out of his QC deal after they didn't want to renegotiate the contract. I'm tired of people trying to make Offset look like the bad guy. Enough is enough. That's hey, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like what Cardi B, you know what I'm saying? Stick it up with his, you know what I'm saying? Stick it up for her man and all that, man. That's what y'all ladies should do, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, man. But Offset, let, 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 let's, let, let's, clear this, let's clear this shit up right now, cuz. You know what I'm saying? All said don't need QC, bro. All said don't need nobody for real, bro. This nigga, he, he can beat, man. I'm telling you right now. All said, he, he, bro, that nigga hard. No homo. That nigga hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. He don't need them niggas, bro. He don't need nobody, bro. This nigga is, is good on his own. Dropping videos, um, you know what I'm saying? Dropping, you know what I'm saying? Be a solo artist, bro. You know what I'm saying? He don't need no none of these niggas up this bit, man. You know what I'm saying? This nigga don't need. I'm telling you right now, bro. Offset make the his music is hard, bro. His music is like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let go. Stop playing with my nigga Offset, man. You dig it, he dig. That Offset hopped on IG Live to tell fans what was up. He said that he's not with all the back and forth on social media, but he wants to own the rights to his solo career so his kids will be set for life. And according to him, he's trying to hold him back from leveling up the situation. During the live, live session, session, he said, sometimes, sometimes people don't, don't want to see you sprout and grow. grow. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Not, Not be a boss, boss and own yourself. 
a couple of days after, after Austin and P said shots at each other on Twitter, P posted a video on his Instagram story. In the video, P asked Lil Baby to read a message of a piece of artwork behind him that said, the show must go on. Then Baby yells, the show must go on, while P is laughing. It wasn't it was a clear shot at Offset, but fans think it was aimed at him because of his history with Lil Baby. Baby's been signing QC for years, just like the Amigos, but they've had issues before. And another reason Offset might be beefy with P and QC is because Lil Baby is the label's hottest artist right now. Migos are still, still one of the, of the biggest, biggest rap groups in the game, game. But, but Baby is definitely, is definitely bringing the most rap for QC right now. The Migos just... Yeah, I mean, shit. Oh, yeah, he got, you know what I'm saying? Lil Baby, I like, I rock with Lil Baby now. You know what I'm saying? Lil Baby, one of the hardest rappers out there, bit now. You know what I'm saying? Let's be honest, bro. Offset and Lil Baby don't need to sign to nobody the first thing first. You diggity dig? Them niggas could do this shit on their own. I just don't get why, man, you know what I'm saying? Rappers be signed to these folks that I did, bit, man. You know what I'm saying? Let go, man. This shit messy, man, for no goddamn reason, man. Y'all niggas don't have to pull in the game, the game like, like they, they used, used to. to. And, and all keep keep see. Man, yuck. Man, yuck. Hey, hey, babe. Babe. Let me see you see this on the bed. Where you ready for this on the it wasn't a clear shot at Offset, but fans think it was aimed at him because of his history with Lil Baby. Baby's been signing QC for years, just like the Migos, but they've had issues before. And another reason Offset might be beefing with P and QC is because Lil Baby is the label's hottest artist right now. Migos are still one of the biggest rap groups in the game, but Baby is definitely bringing the most rap for QC right now. The Migos definitely don't have pull in the game like they used to, and all QC cares about is keeping Lil Baby happy with his deal. Back in 2020, there was rumors that Baby's 4 PF crew jumped Offset outside a party. In February 2020, Offset was allegedly leaving the party when Baby's crew ran up on him. A video leaked showing what went down, but it's hard to tell what exactly happened or if Offset's even there. In the video, a group of dudes walk up, and one of them says, What's up, Off? And some kind of fight breaks out. At the end of the video, a man who people claim is Lil Baby comes out and yells, Man, it cra it 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 look 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 crazy ain't this it look it look crazy in this streets now you know what I'm saying y'all niggas be safe out this bit man you know what I'm saying like bro I'm telling you right now though y'all this, this this shit like this shit gotta stop for real bro you know what I'm saying y'all niggas is doing the most right now for real bro you know what I'm saying like just going by the business now. Keep getting a uh, 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 messy P man. You leave them niggas alone, dude. They look, 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 look. This right here, man. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me check y'all over real quick, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let boss man Coy uh, uh, talk your shit now. Hold on now. Listen, push a P. I mean, oh, I said push a P. Goddamn, uh, messy P, man. I'll tell you right now, nigga. You better leave my nigga all set alone, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let, let him do his thing. Let him go solo. Or let, 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 him, let him do his own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bessie P, bro. Why you gotta be some motherfucker that ain't petty, bro? Stop all that shit, man. If that wanna leave, if that nigga wanna leave, he want leave, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let go, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. And one of them says, what's up, what's up off? And, and some kind of some fight, fight breaks, breaks out. out. At the end, the end of the video, video a man who a man people claim is Lil Baby, baby comes out and yells at the dudes who started it. What the fuck is y'all doing, doing, man? No one knows what really went down, but MCO News says a source told him Offset supposedly owes someone 50000 from the dice game. According to a rumor, dudes from 4 PS saw Offset pressing about the money he lost from dice. But Lil Baby man everything on his IG story writing, stop speaking fake news. That shit fake. Even though Baby said the rumors about Offset was all cash. Cap, fans, fans knew there was, knew there was still stacks behind the scenes. Scene. Then, in then 2021, 2021, the Migos performed before a Logan Paul's boxing, boxing match with Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. They played, they the, played track the track straight. straight. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me fix this shit real quick. My fault, y'all. Let me, run, let, me, let me run that back real quick, man. Stop speaking, Stop speaking fake, fake news. news. That shit that fake. fake. Even though Even Baby said the rumors about Offset was all cap, fans knew there was still stacks behind the scenes. Then, in 2021, the Migos performed before a Logan Paul's boxing match with Floyd Mayweather. They played the track straight in over Culture 3, where Quavo opens up his verse with the line, Act like something's been, been taken. Ain't nothing Ain't but a little bit of straightening. After, after the set, Lil Baby, baby allegedly took a shot at Quavo when he wrote, Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. With oh, laughing emojis on his Instagram story. story. But he later. Man, I'm tired of this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Y'all niggas better cool out now. You know what I'm saying? Before this shit go, you know what I'm saying? Bananas and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to cool out before somebody get hurt, bro. I don't want to see nobody get hurt, bro. This is, you know what I'm saying? They they from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Them Atlanta niggas, get, you know what I'm saying? They get, they get, they get, you know what I'm saying? Down and dirty and it's greasy and all that, man. You dig it, dig. Goddamn. I'm telling you right now, man. Shh. Oh, boy, Lord have mercy, man. We're going to pray for this rap game and all that, bro. Shit, man. Straighten it. After the, after set, the set, Lil Baby allegedly took a shot at Quavo, Quavo when he wrote, ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. But laughing, laughing emojis, emojis on Instagram, Instagram story. story. But he later well, deleted the post, which made even more fans think it was a shot at Quavo. Baby and Quavo was never really beefing. But a few months after the boxing match, rumors started flying that Baby was hooking up with Quavo's ex, Sweet. Sweetie and Quavo started dating in 2018. But in March 2021, they split up. Sweetie and everything out on Twitter. She said, I'm single. I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes. For a false, for a false narrative, narrative to be circulating, to degrades my character. My character. Presence, Presence don't bend their scars, scars, and the love isn't real, and intimacy, and intimacy is given, to, is given other to other women. Then, huh? in November 2021, November 2021 baby and Sweetie were spotted together, together shopping, shopping in New York. In New York. Oh, yeah, I saw that on uh, motherfucking goddamn on uh, Instagram and all that, man. I knew something was going on, bruh. I knew was something was something going on, bruh. When 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 let, listen listen all my nigga, let's, let me let me let me give you some gang. If if if, if Shorty get hurt and all that, bro. You know what I'm saying and all that, man. If she, if she buy, you know what I'm saying. If she, if she, if she, if she got down, just got a relationship. You know what I'm saying. I talk to relationship, or she, you know what I'm saying. She get heartbroken and all that, man. Leave her alone, please. That, 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 that that's the most. Look, that's the most dangerous ones. When they hurt, I'm talking. Tell y'all, man. You know what I'm saying. Just focus on yourself, brother. You know what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. The rap game and all that, bro. Shit's wild, man. You know they passing girls left to right. You know what I'm saying, like. Phew. Oh, I don't want no girl from the industry and all that, bro. I'm talking right now, man. You don't never know what they got. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me run that back though, y'all. Let me run that back real quick. I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades my character. Presence don't bend their scars, and the love isn't real. And intimacy is given to other women. Then, in November 2021, Baby and Sweetie were spotted together shopping in New York. Baby started spotting rumors and tweeted, "Baby not dating no one. I'm single." But then, it looked like Baby was capping as Quavo wrote, "Ain't tripping. We can swap it out." Hashtag QC the label. Now rumors been going around. Cheated on, cheated on Cardi with Sweetie, with Sweetie. Uh, but most people what? think it's all, it's all cap. A woman who claimed to be Nicki Minaj's stylist, stylist sent shots at Cardi, Cardi about Offset, offset hooking, up hooking up with Sweetie, but Cardi, but Cardi clapped, clapped back, back with, with no, baby, no, you, baby lying. you lying. You making crazy you making lies, star shit, shit, and putting female rappers in it? Man, there's a whole lot of bullshit going on, man. Like, no cap, bro. God damn, man. Sweetie, I know Sweetie bad. Sweetie bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been having a crush on for like years and years. I'm trying to tell y'all, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Let go, man. It's a little unnecessary drama, man. Running right back. You see the label. See the label. Now rumors been going around. around that offset cheated on Cardi with Sweetie. Sweetie, but most people but most think it's all cap. A woman who claimed to be Nicki Minaj's stylist, stylist, stylist sent shots at Cardi about offset hooking up with Sweetie. But Cardi, Cardi clapped clap back, back with, "No, baby, no, you lying. You making you crazy lies, starting shit, and putting female rappers in it with no receipts. It don't look like the rumors about offset and Sweetie are true. There's still something going on with the niggas on the back end. All three of them been dodging questions about the group splitting up ever since Takeoff and Quavo announced the collab project. I'm confused. Offset and Cardi, Cardi, both of them follow Takeoff and Quavo, and, and the three of them even perform it together, together at all. They pulled out, they pulled the, out the government's ball back in June, back in June but the official but the story is that they had scheduling conflicts. conflicts. Now the breakup now rumors are flying again, again as Quavo and Takeoff was featured on a track of DJ Khaled's new record, where Offset was left off. Khaled did an interview with Zane Lowe from Apple Music and said, I mean, those are all my brothers. All three of them are my brothers. And from their big brother, we want to see them together no matter what. Nobody says they're not together, so I'm not going to be one of those guys that's going to. None of them None of them. Man, why y'all putting DJ Kelly in that shit, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. The DJ Kelly ain't got nothing to do with that. He trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? Be great out here and all that, bro. Make, make music with people and all that, man. What are you going to You know what I'm saying? Like, he, man, y'all just some fool, man. Come on, bro. You know what But I knew there was something wrong with, you know what I'm saying, with Offset and the Migos, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he's done. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Lord have mercy. Let me run that back, though, y'all.
Rumors about Rumors Austin, about Austin and are true. There's still something There's still going still on with the Negos and the back, back end. All three of them have been, been dodging questions, questions about the group splitting up ever, down, ever since Takeoff and Quavo announced the collab project. I'm confused. Austin and Cardi both of them follow Takeoff and Quavo, and the three of them have been performing together at all. They pulled out of the Delphine Ball back in June, but the official story is that they had scheduling conflicts. Now the breakup rumors are flying again as Quavo and Takeoff was featured on a track of DJ Khaled's new record, and Offset was left off. Khaled did an interview with Zane Lowe from Apple Music, music said, and said, I mean, those, I mean, are, all those are all my brothers. All three of them, all are, three my of them are my brothers. And from their, and from their big brother, big brother we want to see them together no matter what. Nobody says, Nobody they're, not says they're not together. So I'm not going so to be one of those guys, one of those guys, guys is going to. None of the niggas, of the niggas will talk about what's going, going on. on. So I'll talk so about them breaking up, but there's rumors for now. Dang, man. Y'all take off. Y'all take take off out of Bad and Bougie. You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 motherfucker, they all sets all sets turn now, man. What what it, what it gonna be next? Uh, Quavo, you know what I'm saying? When you know, I remember that nigga said, "Take off, say, what you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? The Hey, you should have like let y'all wild, bro. Come on, man, look up, man." And if there is a breakup between Austin and the other two, hopefully, hopefully they can work it, they can all, work out. it all out. They all grew up together, 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 together and are blood related. And like Jay Z like says, nobody wins nobody when the family feuds. It's, it's not clear how Austin's lawsuit with QC is going to play out. But P, I'll be seeing backing down. And if Lil Baby gets more involved, the situation could really turn up. Hopefully, both sides come to an agreement before anything worse happens. Yeah, no cap, though, bro. Like, really, though, man. Hold on, let me see. Like for real, man. Y'all gotta hopefully they they fix that situation situation out, man. Quick. I mean, quick. Y'all need to get it together, man. Yeah, I don't want to see nobody get hurt now. I want every, you get offset. Everybody, QC, whatever. We're watching this goddamn video now. Get it together, bro. Turn right now, man. Cause boss man Corey ain't having this shit. Don't make me come up there. And, 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 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna do, nigga. You know what I'm saying? For real, man. Like. But y'all give me your opinions down below, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'll catch you in the next video reaction video, yo, man. You know what I'm saying? About to drop a video a little bit later uh, uh, tomorrow and all that, bro. So y'all stay tuned, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this, man. I'll drop a video early, man. So y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. Go, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Go tune in. You diggity dig. Catch you in the next video, man. I love y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Peace.